Hey guys, welcome back to Clownfish TV. This is Neon. We're going to talk about animation, the animation industry. Don Bluth launching a new studio at age 82. That's actually very exciting. Uh, very, very cool that he's staying active. Bluth is, of course, a legend in the animation industry, a former Disney animator who went out on his own, created a lot of... A lot of 1980s, uh, 1990s classic animated movies like An American Tale, A Land Before Time, etc. So it's exciting to see that he's still doing this. And I want to talk about, um, I guess, the animation industry and its importance to streaming. And just in general, it seems like there's a lot of interest in good animated content. And a lot of it is coming from former, former Disney people who left the company they're not staying with disney some of them by choice and some of them were ousted and we're going to talk a little bit about john lassiter and his poaching his poaching of disney talent uh, to go work for skydance after disney kicked him to the curb after allegations of being kind of creepy there weren't any specific allegations as to why john lassiter was ousted from pixar other than he got a little too touchy-feely with people as I understand it, there were a couple of complaints, but uh, Disney is losing its creative spark. And we know this. We talk about it all the time, but this has been going on for decades. And Don Bluth was one of the first major Disney animators to leave and take that uh, Disney magic with him. And you start to realize that the Disney magic is actually individuals who are very, very talented and they have a... Uh, a vision for excellence in animation and, and Disney, you know, now that they've lost John Lasseter, who was, I, I consider to be the last like really great uh, Disney visionary, it's going to be really interesting to see where they go from here because honestly, the last couple movies they put out, I, I wasn't that impressed with. Uh, this is coming from Cartoon Brew. Don Bluth launches new studio to usher in renaissance of hand-drawn animation now this is really cool because there's something to be said for hand-drawn animation over cg while cg has gotten much better over the last few years especially there's still something to be said for the hand-drawn animation because it tends to convey emotion better um i think and it tends to reflect more on the individual artist because a lot of times uh, animators are given characters to basically act as if you talk to anyone who's worked on like a major production at Disney, a lot of times they'll give them a character like you are the you are the Ursula animator. You, you animate all the key scenes with Ursula in it and you can tell there are certain styles that come through, certain facial expressions that come through. If you become familiar with uh, classic 2D animators, you can tell Don Bluth from like Chuck Jones right i mean you can just tell in the way that the characters are drawn and animated uh you can tell don bluth from glenn Keane, who we're also going to talk about again just those uh the way they draw eyes or mouths or, or whatever it is um so while netflix develops an adaptation of his iconic game dragon's lair don bluth 82 is looking ahead to future projects the animation legend behind the secret of nim and the land before time has launched a new venture don bluth studios with the express goal to create new characters, new ideas, and new cartoons. The announcement was published on the studio's Facebook page. We believe the public is craving another renaissance of hand-drawn animation. It continues, our goal is to make that dream become reality. Now, yeah, uh, you know, speaking of, of Netflix, and we're not going to talk about the other Netflix controversy, all right, uh, about a certain movie, but talking about the stuff that Netflix has done right. Uh, one of the things that Netflix has done right is Klaus. I think we can, you know, thank partially a, a, uh, a return to 2D animation, good 2D animation. Uh, we can thank Klaus for that. And again, that was directed by a former Disney animator. A lot of these guys and girls, when they get to a certain point, they leave, they go start their own studios because Disney doesn't want to do 2D animation anymore. They want to keep cranking out Elsa movies, you know? And it's sad because this is what Disney was known for and they've forgotten who they are. But that's okay because I think it's time for more independent studios uh, to rise up and we need to, I guess, break up the Hollywood monopoly. We need to make sure that uh, there are entertainment studios and companies all over the country, all over the world. 
so that we get not only different voices, but we don't have anybody uh, locked into that Hollywood system because it turns out that it's you know very uh, constrictive, I think, when it comes to actually being creative. It's just endless sequels. Even Disney now, they're doing everything with, with CG and they're just cranking out sequels uh, for the most part you know, to, to better movies. One of the first projects is Bluth Fables, which is based on multiple short stories similar to nursery rhymes in Aesop's Fables, written by Bluth himself. This and other ideas are fleshed out in a number of live streams hosted by the studio, which have since been uploaded on YouTube. I need to absolutely check that out. These live streams are indicative of Don Bluth Studios' approach to development our company will be very transparent at state, showcasing and updating the public with concept art, pencil tests, model sheets, animatics, and much more. We're excited to show everyone what we've been working on. Please join us in our new adventure. Uh, the studio has appointed animator Lavelle Lee as vice president. Lee first started studying with Bluth in 2009 and is the man behind several blogs and websites, including traditional animation. He was a project leader at Bluth's previous venture, Don Bluth Films, in which capacity he helped spearhead a crowdfunding campaign for a feature adaptation of Dragon's Lair. This campaign resulted in a pitch presentation in 2017. Last March, it was revealed that Netflix had picked up the rights to the game and is developing a feature in live action. Huge mistake. Huge, huge mistake. But we know Netflix has been making uh, some tactical errors lately. This is very exciting. Um, cause Don Bluth is a living legend and I'm, I'm grateful that he's, he's still at it. You know, he's 82 years old and he's still animating. He's still, you know, trying to kick off new projects. It just goes to show you that, that, uh, you know, this is something you don't have to stop doing. Um, you think about a lot of artists that, that are very well known, even in, you know, Disney circles and, uh, animation circles, art circles. And I'm thinking of, you know, Al Hirschfeld. The caricaturist. He was he was still doing caricatures when he was like a hundred years old. Carl Barks doing duck paintings. I think up until the day he died, and he was uh, almost a hundred, I believe. And and we've got Don Bluth still animating at eighty two. I think that's awesome. I think it's amazing. And you know, take advantage of this knowledge because I I have to wonder if part of the motivation isn't that the younger generation of animators have have lost the ability to to use a pencil they're they're keyboard jockeys now and and people aren't doing everything themselves you know uh, i've heard stories before about people being hired by animation studios like pixar just to be like fire animators or water animators and that's like all they do oh i'm the hair guy you know i i make the hair flow on the characters and that's fine but there's something to be said you know, to be able to pick up a pencil and do a whole scene pretty much yourself. And that's why I like, uh, I like a lot of the independent YouTube animators quite a bit because you see that, that uh, spark, that uh, ingenuity that uh, the big studios don't have anymore. Now, speaking of Netflix, again, not talking about that movie, not talking about that movie, but this is kind of ironic. They said they want to beat Disney and family animation. And, you know, Klaus was amazing. We praised it heavily when it came out last year. Uh, I love that movie. It's everything that a Disney movie should be, but isn't anymore because Disney has become a cold, heartless <laughs> corporation compared to what it used to be. And everybody's leaving. All their talent is leaving. But Netflix says it wants to beat Disney and family animation. And I know there's some irony in this because of uh, cuties, you know, but they have put out some amazing animated movies. The Willoughby's, which is CG, but it looks like clay. Uh, Klaus, which is, I, I can't say enough good things about Klaus. It's absolutely amazing. And the other one, uh, Over the Moon, uh, which I'm gonna talk about. That's coming from Glenn Keane. Now, Glenn Keane is another animator's animator. He was a, a Disney animator who was, uh, probably best known for the little mermaid and a lot of the disney renaissance films and you can see his style even in the the, the cg characters but uh, over the moon is coming out on netflix and it looks better than anything disney's put out in the last couple of years i'm I, to be honest uh, it does and a lot of these movies do a lot of the movies coming from netflix look better than what disney's producing but damn it netflix cuties come on come on 
Uh, this is you know this is why we keep our Netflix subscription honestly is for the animation. But uh, it's so ironic that they want to be they want to be the family destination. But the thing is, is Disney's losing its magic. They are, and it, its magic is its people. It's again, it's good to see Glenn Keane doing animation now. One of the key people at Disney who is responsible for all of the uh, you know good Disney animated movies in the last you know 12 15 years is John Lasseter. And again John Lasseter got ousted from Disney and he went over to Skydance Animation. And he's taking Disney people with him. Uh, John Lasseter named Peggy Holmes new director of Luck. I'm not exactly sure uh, what Luck is about, but she worked on Disney films, um, several, including the the two most successful Disney Toon Studio productions, uh, the Tinkerbell movie. She also worked on Hocus Pocus. She worked on you know, the Country Bears, <laughs> you know, but she has a history with Disney. Uh, he also nabbed a, a, an industry veteran, Shane Prigmore. I think it's Shane Prigmore is SVP of development at Skydance. Uh, he worked for Warner Brothers and Walt Disney television animation so he's gonna be working on luck too so this is interesting he worked on um ducktales big city greens amphibia the owl house phineas and ferb the movie um moon girl and devil dinosaur uh he worked for uh Leica. he worked on Coraline and the crudes uh he worked on iron giant um we actually have some friends who worked on the iron giant how to train your dragon foss i mean his his resume is impressive so all the animation talent, all the major talent in animation now, they're they're going indie. They're they're getting away from Disney. Disney no longer is the uh, uh, the mouse house, the house that Walt built. Uh, you know, a place for innova- uh, innovation. Uh, Disney is a a cold corporation that milks nostalgia, that uh, absorbs IP instead of creating new things. And uh, I think all the excitement in animation is going to happen with indie studios. Now, what's awesome about this, you know, animation being decentralized from from Disney and even, you know, DreamWorks, is that uh, there's more opportunity. There's more opportunity for young creatives to break into the industry. And you can work anywhere. You can work from anywhere and and create your own stuff and, and you know, pitch your own shows and get it picked up. So it's a very exciting place to be right now. And, uh, you know, I'm, I'm definitely looking forward to seeing what Mr. Bluth does. I should see if I can get him on the show. I wonder if he'd come on. I wonder if Don Bluth would come on Clownfish TV. That would be pretty cool. I would love to talk to him. But, um, yeah, very exciting stuff. Going to wrap this one up. Please subscribe for more pop culture news, views, and rants. And we'll talk later.